Hi everybody, this is Tim from Berkshire Drop Brokers and I'm going to take you for a full length virtual reality tour of this 1996 Moody S38. Now, this is a virtual reality tour, so as you can see the camera is moving around with me and you can look around in 3D if you like. All you need to do is click and drag or swipe and drag your screen up, down, left or right and you can look around to your heart's content. Some people do find the, uh, the movement of the camera makes them feel a bit queasy, so if that may be you, this video may not be for you, but that would be for up to you to decide. So uh, anyway, let's have a look around this lovely boat, shall we? So uh, apologies for the movement of the camera, that's what this video is all about. So we're in the cockpit of this lovely yacht, and as you can see, loads of room here. We've got nice seating on the port side, we've got access through the companionway, up a couple of steps and then down through there, bit of a duck underneath the spray hood here, and then we've got uh, seating on the starboard side here too, all nicely lined with teak etc. We have uh, escape access from the after cabin there or light and air into the after cabin if you want it. A nice big locker here, very very heavy locker lids but that's because they're moody, they're well built which is great. You can see we've got uh, some safety gear in there or you could put whatever you wanted in there and we've also got two gas bottles in the, the gas locker section after there. Very very nice. A bit more stowage up here if we have a look. Uh, let's have a look down here. I'll just take this uh, Button out, put it out of the way. There we go. Sorry, I'm getting a bit close. Uh, if you lift the lid up, which I can't because that's falling over, so let's put that to, to that side. Lift the lid up here, you can see again, really heavy lid, massive, massive uh, locker down there. We've got the bilge pump, we've got to room for all of your fenders, sails, etc., kedge anchor, battery charger, etc. Very nice indeed. And uh, just coming out of that, we can see we've got the shore supply there um, making its way into the boat. So let's put the button back where it was supposed to be. On this boat, although we've got the cover on, uh, we've got wheel steering underneath, which is very nice. We have a lovely multifunction display under there. We've got the compass, we've got the engine throttle, etc. And we've got a little bit more nav here, very good. And if I just stand up and take you with me, you can see we've got a nice bimini. Fairly unusual in these climbs, but really good for keeping the sun off, really good for keeping the light rain off too as well, I think. Uh, down at the back end of the boat, you can see we've got uh, a lifting section here. That basically rolls out and unfurls a swim ladder, which then fills in this section here uh, by the swim platform and enables you to get in and out of the water really, really nice and easily, very nice. We've got some antennae here, we've got a rod holder there, but generally speaking, if we sit here and look down at the cockpit, you can see what a nice, airy, place it would be. Feeling quite um, safe, re relatively deep because you've got the, quite the, quite the uh, high bullocks there, a big spray hood. But we also have dodgers for this particular boat so uh, you'll be more protected than you think which is great. Okay then let's uh, duck under there and uh, just have a quick look at uh, the sailing parts in here. So around me we've got uh, two winches to starboard so we've got the spinnaker sheet aft the uh, foresail uh, sheet forward, this one is self-tailing, mirrored on the port side here as well, and we've got two uh, halyards here, uh, sorry, two halyard winches here, both with uh, self-tailing as well, and a smattering of the usual brakes that you would find with as many lines left uh, uh, led aft as this boat have. Um, usual kind of uh, offending navigation in instruments look forward, you've got wind speed, direction, etc, etc, but uh, all there for everybody to see and all there to keep us safe, which is lovely. So let's exit the cockpit and see how easy it is to do that. Well, it is really easy. Quick step up, quick step over, and you're onto the deck, and it, uh, it really is a nice and easy deck to get along. Uh, you can see from here how deep the spray hood is, nice and protective over a lot of the cockpit. So if the wind's coming anywhere from the forward end or the waves, you're going to have a lot of protection there. Nice big windows. And talking of windows, you can see we've got lots of windows along the coach roof, so lots of nice uh, light down below. Most of them open too, so um, lots of ventilation in and lots of uh, cooking fumes etc out which is fantastic. On the coach roof itself you can see we've got the main sheet here so that's not intruding into the uh, the cockpit so that reduces the danger, minimises the risk although you have got a tiny bit of overhang for the uh, for the boom over the spray hood but uh, actually that's uh, that's pretty good in my book so uh, really really well done and can be controlled from uh, behind the spray hood as well. We've got two ventilators with the derates taken off and just closed for now which let uh, more vent uh, light down below and as you can see we've got a nice relatively uncluttered coach roof here We've got a smattering of hatches, which for, again, I keep saying light and ventilation, that's what they're for. I'll try not to say it again. We've got a gas strut by the looks of it. Uh, you can see where the lines are led after underneath these covers as well. So that gives us a uh, nice, uh, the, the uncluttered feeling. It also protects this section of rope from the UV light, which is good. 
And uh, if I just walk along the starboard side, you can see I'm making my way around the pole, which is uh, secured in place there, so that does obstruct slightly, but it's nice and easy to get past the shrouds. So here we are at the, at the base of the mast. In fact, I'll just step up and I'll just turn around and uh, just talk about uh, my journey here. So as you come out to the cockpit, you saw how easy it, it was. We've got a nice grab rail along the, uh, the cockpit itself there, oh, sorry, along the spray hood. And once we're out, then we can transfer along the starboard side and you can see we've got nice, uh, grab rails all the way to just in front of the mast foot. Very good and really handy for keeping hold of I think. Moving forward a little bit more we come to the front of the coach roof and uh, that slopes neatly down and joins uh, up with the deck. Nice teak decking on this boat as you can see. Um, there's been some pressure washing, there's a bit of wear etc on that but I think there's uh, definitely some uh, life, life left in there. Plenty of room here to work I think. We've got a nice big anchor locker which lifts up. There's your windlass underneath there. Lovely great big locker there for your chain and uh, may, maybe one or two fenders as well. Really good. Furling sailing, uh, furling foresail. We've got the anchor in his bow roller and if you just look back we can see what a, a very attractive clean and nice and shiny boat this is. Well she's a moody I'm slightly biased I admit but uh, she is a very beautiful boat. So we'll move our way back along the port side. Uh, a little bit easier here because there's no pole down on the uh, on the uh, on the deck there but again really nice and easy to walk i'm feeling i've got nice strong guard rails here i've got grab rails down here when i get to here i've got the bimini frame to grab hold of if i want to i've got the uh, the spray hood frame there or handle to grab hold of if i want to as well so uh, yeah very very nice indeed i'm a little bit jealous so into the cockpit and uh, let's take you for a look down below shall we as this is a, an extended tour and uh, so down as you can see there's a bit of a duck but this is for the boat, uh, quite a low spray hood I would say, but uh, if you're not really tall you're okay, I'm not really tall so I'm okay. So down here, one, two, three, four, five, six steps down and uh, welcome to the inside of this really lovely boat. Have a look around, what do we see? Well, starting from the top, we've got nice uh, nice uh, gel coat uh, headlining, we've got some vinyl here, all uh, looking nice and easy to keep clean, so keeping down on that mildew growth which is lovely. Uh, we've got windows all down, all the way down either side, uh, most of them open as well, so lots of light coming in which is fantastic. Nice, uh, not, dark, not too dark wood, but the dark wood does con contrast nicely with the side of the coach roof and the headlining and the curtains etc. So feeling like a nice place. I'll just close the door to that head for a moment. But uh, the companion ways, we come down, as you can see, six steps. This section here does come away with the uh, undoing of four Allen bolts there to give us access to the engine. So um, a bit of a fiddle if you're in a rush. If you're in a rush, I'll go to the uh, back end where we'll hopefully have a look in a moment. But uh, nevertheless, take it off, good access to the front of the engine, belt drive, all that kind of stuff. And then on the right hand side, we've got the galley, which is uh, sort of U-shaped, C-shaped, but it's away in the corner, but it's nice and big. And the beauty of it is because there's no access around this side to any kind of after cabin, it means that when you're in there, you're not being um, asked to move out of the way while somebody just goes to get their wellies, etc., all that kind of stuff. So really good. So once you're in, there's room for maybe two people to work in here at once. But let's have a little look, look around. We've got uh, the bin lid here. That's where everything disappears forever. We don't know where it goes once it's in there. And uh, We've got two nice sinks here, so uh, nice and easy to uh, do your washing up and pass to the people there to dry up, I think. That shows you what kind of a skipper I am. And uh, under here we've got a nice, great big fridge locker. There we go, with a little freezer compartment in it. And then around here, just notice how solid these worktops are, by the way. Under here we've got the cooker. There we go. Two burners. We've got a grill and an oven in there as well. A uh, little bit of storage here. A bit of a cool box in there. And more chopping board type uh, area there. These cupboards I love because... They look good because they're lovely and uniform and they look in nice condition too and they go all the way round the boat until you get to the nav station where they stop and then once you're in this head again it continues all the way around the boat I think even into the after cabin but let's check it out they look great they're really really handy there's loads of room in them as you can see we've got fiddles as well so tons of stowage in this boat that's really easy to get to and it's in your face because it's there but it's actually really attractive and I just like the way it presents very nice under here you can see again we've got uh, more little cupboards there lots of uh, use made of all the space we have cupboards uh, cupboard drawer big long hanging cupboard cupboard there cupboards under the sink as well and a cupboard and drawer here so in this galley we have got oodles of space probably for weeks worth of living I would think 
But that, that, uh, yeah, so let's move forwards. Um, into the saloon, as you can see, lovely great big area. Lots of seating to starboard, linear pit seating to port. This probably would accept maybe a five foot person to sleep on, possibly this side too. This doesn't make into a double, but I think uh, by adaptation you can make a, a small double there. Lovely great big saloon table currently folded down. We have two nice big leaves there, so we can uh, probably sit uh, six people around or maybe even more with a, with a stool to eat their dinner. We've got uh, storage inside, we've got a drawer, we've got uh, a cupboard underneath and we've got the, uh, the secret storage for our wine under there course and uh, either side you have uh, the cold water tanks underneath the, the, the berths and cells or the, the cushions we have storage underneath storage underneath and instead of pulling the seats forward which most boats do to reveal a cupboard there uh, Moody have opted to uh, carve up the, uh, the shelf there and you can see that um, uh, we have storage underneath there as well all use of space for storage is done on this boat uh, wherever the outside of the hull may be visible it's lined with this uh, nice wood which is lovely unless you're in a hedge compartment of course and you can see also if we look down at the floor we've got the nice wooden floor not loads of creaking like you get on lots of boats so feeling nice and solid underfoot good access to the bilge underneath here this lifts up we can see a couple of the keel bolts if you want to check them and also we can see through this section here uh, where we have the descenders for the uh, the the echo sound uh, log etc etc the rest are screwed down which uh Bit debatable. Uh, good because it holds the floorboards down always and less squeaking. Bad if you want to get to things quickly, but okay if you've got a screwdriver handy, I think. But there we go. But uh, looking nice. And uh, if you just look at the port aft corner here, we can see we've got the nav station forward facing, which I really like. Doesn't really make a difference, I don't think, but I do like it. Uh, nice uh, table. Let's sit down and talk about it just for one second. So I'm sitting here with you. We're going to navigate. What might we be doing? Well, we might be asking the person in the galley for a cup of tea. That's nice and easy. We might be barking orders at the helm because he's going the wrong way or she. And that's nice and easy to just uh, turn around and shout up there. No worries at all. And um, we can see that uh, we are forward facing. Plenty of headroom, loads of headroom in this boat. So six feet um, almost everywhere plus, I think. And we've got this nice chart table, really deeply fiddled to help you uh, grope your way past in a seaway, but also to keep the contents of the chart table here, which is brilliant. If we lift the lid up, we can see we've got storage inside. We've got storage uh, on the in the binnacles outboard here. I'll just swap panels quickly. There we go. Uh, we have, uh, uh, I think that's radar instrumentation here. Uh, we've got GPS. We've got uh, VHF, we've got stereo and the electrics panel there, battery monitor, etc. etc. So you can sit here and uh, control uh, or look at or monitor most of the elements of the boat down here, which is really, really useful if you're sailing, definitely. So uh, if we were coming down here in the seaway, imagine uh, you're coming down here. So let's take you up to the companionway. So you're coming down here. What are you going to do? You're going to be grabbing onto these handles here or the, uh, the front of the companionway there to, uh, to get yourself down or up if you're going the other way. And then once you're down here, we can take hold of the really nice deep fiddling here or we can then transfer ourselves to the really nice deep fiddling here. And then once that finishes, we can go up to the grab rails above us or start here and make our way all the way forwards until these finish, by which time there's always something else to hang on to like the compression post or the bulkhead as we go through to the forward cabin so that's really been thought about and uh, I really like the fact that there are grab rails uh, all the way along really nice deep fiddles which serve as they should to keep liquids etc where they should be but also something to hang on to which is lovely right let's take you forward so uh, we're going to into the forward cabin but first we'll go to the ensuite there we go there's the ensuite head if you've never seen one before there's the cupboards coming through from the saloon we've got a, a manual head sitting underneath the seat here so the purpose of this seat is to allow you to sit down and have a shower if you would like one uh, because at sea it can be quite uh, rough especially at the front of the boat although you do have a grab rail here to grab hold of um, the shower's just up here so uh, yeah you can do everything you want to in here we have a hatch above us there to let uh, uh, fumes, uh, moisture out, etc. And uh, we can have a shower and uh, a blue to ourselves in here to our heart's content. So very nice indeed. So let's close the door on that. Here we go. And you're now in the forward cabin. And uh, you can see, again, 
cupboards come all the way around the side of the boat so lots and lots of stories it's very very easily accessible now this boat does come with loads of really lovely sails which have just been valeted and uh, ready to go we've got uh, we've got a spinnaker we've got the main we've got the foresail we've got the the cover the sail cover etc really really lovely unfortunately that's uh, covering up the bed which is a nice size bed nice and long nice and wide uh, we have storage under underneath each side and we have an infill here as well which uh, if we want to we can take away and uh, reveals access to another locker under here and then right the way forward here we've got access to the bow thruster uh, machinery compartment there so we've got the battery we've got the bow thruster machinery itself really good and then on the outboard side on the port side of here I can't open this door one-handed because there's a catch down here, but we have a nice, uh, almost uh, full-length uh, hanging locker here. We've got uh, we've got the um, vanity unit with a drawer in and a cupboard underneath. And if we did close the door, we'd find we'd have all this space here to get changed in and out of our oil skins or our evening gowns, etc., etc. Really nice. Right then, so back through there, and it's a very nice and easy door to get through. We've got good head height here, good width, and um, let's make our way to the day head. So here we go. There we are in the day head, we go through, nice and easy to get in. Again, cupboards coming all the way through. Two nice windows here, so it's light and bright and airy in here, helped by the, the bare gel coat, which makes it nice and easy to clean. We have an electric toilet here, uh, underneath the lid, which again means we can uh, shower in comfort, and uh, maybe we should have seats and showers at home. But here's your shower head, and then in the after part of the uh, compartment there, you can see that you've got the uh, the sink unit there, and a grab rail or towel rail, etc, etc, with hot and cold running water. The beauty of this head is we have uh, two doors. We call them Jack and Jill doors. Why do we call them that? Well, that's because we can go, I don't know why they call them Jack and Jill. I did try to find out, but I couldn't. But basically we have access from the saloon. We can go in there without and use a head without anyone in the after cabin being disturbed. But if we want to, we can go from the after cabin. So from this cabin into the heads keep that door closed and nobody in the saloon knows what you're doing in there or that you're even in there. Really handy. I'll leave the door open for a little bit of light and uh, we'll uh, just look at this compartment very quickly. So I'm in the lobby, good head height above me. We've got a window that opens here and as you can see we've got a nice little seat here which we can sit on and uh, get undressed or dressed at. On the outboard side here we've got cupboards, shelves, etc, etc. Very nice. Now as with all cabins on, well most cabins on most boats, I shouldn't say oh, there's always an exception, we've got the, the cockpit moulding here protruding down but as you can see on a lot of boats this would come down a lot further but so it's pretty good. Your legs will only be down that end anyway. You'll be at this end sitting reading your Beano annual and uh, you'll be uh, quite happy with the headroom down here. It's a, an even better story out on the starboard side there. You can see that uh, you've got full sitting height all the way down to, uh, to, the, uh, to the after bulkhead there. Very nice and wide berth. Very nice and long berth. Um, the only compromise is that the person sleeping that side may need to crawl over or around the person sleeping on this side if they're actually there. So uh, that's always the thing on boats. There's always a bit of a compromise. We have nice wooden cupboards on the outboard side here. Nice hanging locker. We've got storage underneath the bed. We've got the fuel tank. We've got batteries here. We've got batteries here. And if we peel away the, uh, the headboard here, uh, we've got really nice access to the top of the engine and the after end of the, of the engine. So uh, if I was at sea and I was checking my engine every hour, I be coming here looking for those leaks, those funny smells, those drips, etc., which we should all be looking for. So that's a 1996 Moody S38. This door's quite thin to get through, worth thinking about. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tour. This has been an experimental video looking at the outside and the inside with the camera constantly being held by me. Hope it's worked for you and you've got a really good idea what it's like to be on this boat without actually being here. But more than anything, thanks for watching and we hope to see you soon for more great boat virtual reality videos. Take care.